hi it's so good to see you what is up my friends we are back with another video gosh i just love talking about mental health all right so you probably know that today we're going to be talking about how to be happy we'll just go in i'm going to give you potential reasons why you might not be happy and then i'm going to give you solutions to each of those i'm sure that you've heard people say things like oh just exercise meditate get sleep smile in the mirror. You should be doing all of those things because they're all valuable. However, let's get to the root cause of why you're not happy. And it could be a variety of things. Disclaimer, I am in no way certified to be giving this information. So, okay, here are some potential reasons why you might not be happy with your life. One, you're hanging out with negative people. So you individually are a combination of the five people that you hang around the most. If your crew tends to be pretty sad or make self-deprecating jokes or pretty negative overall, like pretty pessimistic people, there's no question as to why you might be pessimistic too, or why you might not be satisfied with your life. And I know that it's hard to get out of that because people subconsciously feel the need to be a part of a community and it's hard to be alone. But if you want to be satisfied and happy with your life, you're gonna have to switch your brain over to optimism, which means that you're gonna have to find a different crew to hang out with that doesn't think negatively about their life. You know what I mean? Number two, comparison. And I talked about this in my last video, but comparison is the thief of joy. Shout out to Theodore Roosevelt. So specifically talking about social media, you have to remember that social media is just a series of beautiful events in people's lives. You've probably heard that it's not the reality, but that's true. We need to stop taking it like it's reality. No one posts their bad moments. No one posts when they're crying in their room because they're so sad. Like no one posts that. So if you're doing that, don't think that someone else's life is better than yours just because their social media is, they look like they're living a better life. They probably have a lot of issues that you don't know about at all. There's no reason for comparison. Okay, so my solution to this issue is to take a break from social media. I did this for a little bit and it helped so much. Take a break and go find a hobby. Like, go find something else that's gonna take up your time, the time that you would be spending on social media. Find a hobby that can replace that and bring you joy. You can also spend more time with your friends and family. And I know that's a little bit difficult because of quarantine and Rona, but I promise if you take a break from social media, even if it's just for a few days, you will feel better. Number three, you're not living in the present moment. We tend to get really caught up in the future of like what we're gonna be doing that day or what we're cooking for dinner. And then we tend to also get caught up in the past, like the mistakes that we made or how we said you too to the person at the drive-thru that said, enjoy your food. We tend to get caught up in that stuff and we don't really live in the present moment. And that can cause a lot of anxiety. So this is a reason why meditation is pushed so much because breathing can help you stay in the present moment. So. Here's a solution. Also taking a break from social media will help you live in the present moment because you're not caught up in thinking about what your life could be. So another solution to this is meditation, but if meditation freaks you out or you just can't do it, then you can try other things. Sometimes it can give people a lot of anxiety to just sit there and not do anything. What you can do is when you wake up in the morning, just take a deep breath and really feel that breath in your body. Like what does it feel like? In that case, let's just take a deep breath right now. So. Awesome. Okay. So another thing you can do throughout the day to stay in the present moment, it's called progressive muscle relaxation. And basically what it is, I can make a whole other video about this if you'd like. What it is, is you clench different muscles of your body for like a couple seconds and then you relax and it feels so good, but <laughs> it does bring you back into your body. It brings you back into the present moment because you have to be focusing on that. Number four, potential reason why we might not be happy with our lives is that we are blaming others for our life situation, or we're blaming others for our unhappiness. And ultimately, happiness is a choice, unless your body literally doesn't produce enough serotonin. But when we don't take enough accountability for our actions, including our mistakes, we tend to put the blame on other people, blaming them as to why things are a certain way. I think I want my hair down. Ooh. Okay, well that didn't work. We're just gonna, we're gonna put it back up. Cool, we'll just roll with that. The truth is you can't blame anyone for why your life is the way it is. You control your actions and your thoughts and the things that you do. So if you decide that everyone else is the reason for the negative things in your life, then you have just decided that you don't have control over your life. And that's not true. <laughs> Okay, so solution. One of the roots of blame is unforgiveness of yourself. Step one is to be a little bit more gracious with yourself. 
be kind to yourself and forgiving and realize that you can make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes and that's okay. You're not a failure. Don't tell yourself that you're a failure or that you don't have worth because you made a mistake. It's okay. With that being said, take accountability for your actions and then change your life accordingly to how you want it. So for example, if you are blaming your boss for making your job terrible, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, you can choose to ignore their attitude and just focus on getting the job done. Or, well, among other things, you can leave your job and find one that brings you joy. But ultimately, forgive yourself for your mistakes. You're not perfect and that's okay. Number five, stop trying to impress everyone. Ooh. So it's in our human nature to want to be a part of a community. And so we try our best to impress others so that we can become a part of a community. However, the truth is, this is just a complete waste of energy. By trying to impress everyone else, you're creating these shallow friendships and relationships that don't add value to your life because you're not being true to yourself. Just because people like you for your car or your clothes, it doesn't mean that they like you for you. So a part of being happy is surrounding yourself with people that actually like you for who you are. And that kind of goes along with step one. That group of people should also like you for who you are. And that group, that core group doesn't have to be big. And it's also really hard to find. So it's okay if you're alone for a little bit, trying to figure out who you are, that's okay. So. Also with impressing people, we know that enough is never actually enough. And if you get caught up in impressing other people, you will forever be chasing down the next best thing and you'll never be satisfied. And you can lose yourself chasing things that never actually mattered in the first place. So the solution is to focus on yourself. Focus on making yourself a better person and making, well, focus on making yourself a better person and finding things that bring you joy because that's what matters to not worry about what other people think you're living your life for you you really only need to impress yourself <laughs> number six negativity we all have the same 24 hours in a day and this means that we all get to choose how we spend our 24 hours this pandemic has been absolutely awful however one of the positive that mm, there are not many positive things that have come out of this but one of them is that we've each gotten a lot of time to spend alone. So with this alone time, you could have chosen to do a variety of things. And I know I'm guilty. <laughs> and I realized that I did spend a good portion of it not being very productive. And then after a couple of months, I realized that this is pretty valuable time that I'm not probably ever gonna get again. I mean, I could be using it to create something new or to do something that I've always wanted to do. So instead of complaining, about how things could have been or should have been. Make the most of what you have now. Find solutions to the problem rather than finding excuses as to why you can't solve that problem. Changing your thought process into finding the solutions rather than the problems is so difficult and your brain will, because you've trained your brain to think that way, it's gonna be really hard to reverse that way of thinking. So cut yourself some slack. <laughs> The truth is there is a solution to everything and you don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay, friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope you found some of this useful and please like or dislike this video depending on how you found it. Any feedback is helpful. If you wanna give some advice in the comments, I would really appreciate that. Sweet, see you soon.